Professor Wargley's here finishing up the switcher example or the switchable project. You'll see I created an H box here. Now this H box is basically the default scene. So if you see this as a failure, something's not working. So if I load this application as is, this is what you'll see. So you need to change the main method just a little bit. So normally we created, we loaded the FXML file and then we loaded the controller, and then we passed the stage, and then we loaded the scene and all this other stuff. Here, we're just gonna create the scene, and then from the switchable class, I'm gonna set the scene. Now I'm grabbing the variable directly. It would not be a bad idea to go ahead and create getters and setters for the scene. Instead of accessing the field directory, you should probably use data encapsulation. Make this private, make this private and have uh, public getters and setters. But let's first get this to run. So I'm gonna set the scene with this one scene created with the corresponding root. And then which one do I wanna load? I actually don't really need these anymore. I need to show the stage, but I'm gonna use the switch to method from now on. So I'll call switchable and I'll say switch to. Notice how I don't need to create an object because it's a static method. So I'll say switch to, and where do we want to switch to? Maybe we're going to switch to, um, I don't know, A. We can switch to A. Now, if I run this, okay, if I run this, you're still going to see it's a failure. The only way this application is going to work is if every controller extends switchable. So if I do extend switchable, now controller A will be of type switchable. So then I can store it in this hash map. Okay, I can store it in this hash map. You'll see I need type switchable. If it's not of type switchable, I'm gonna get a runtime error and I won't be able to put that into the hash map. So in controller A, make sure it extends switchable. If this is a problem, meaning you can't waste your inheritance on the controllers, normally this is not a problem. Normally controllers don't use inheritance. Normally the model will use inheritance. So this should not be a problem with your final project, but if it is, there are other ways to switch scenes. So you can come talk to me or look at the previous uh, example, but definitely if you can use a switchable, it's a way better code base to use. So you see I'm on A, I don't get that failure message anymore, but if I wanna to go to B, I'm not able to. I need to make sure all the controllers extend switchable. This will only work if the controllers are of type switchable. So I do controller B extend switchable. I do controller C extend switchable. Okay, make sure that works. Now when I run it, you'll see I'm in A. Okay, I'm in A. And when I click handle go to B, I just need to call my static method. So I'll call switchable and I'll say switch to, where do I wanna go? On this one, I wanna go to B. And on this one, I wanna go to C. Okay, so if I run the app, I'm in A, if I click B, it'll go to B. If I click A, it'll come back to A. If I go to C, it'll go to C. If I click A, I can go back to A. Okay, so that's really simple. You'll see in B controller, when I wanna go to A, I switch to A. When I wanna go to C, I switch to C. Earlier, if I wanted to go to another controller, I had to write all this code. And if I had a third uh, FXML file, I'd have to write all this code again. I have to keep track of the stage. I have to keep track of all the scenes so I can switch back and forth. It'll just turn into a nightmare if I have more than two scenes. So let's say I wanted to create another scene. It's not difficult in this program and I'll actually show you how to do it. So you'll see B controller has a switch to as well as C controller. Okay, so now they should all be working. Make sure you extend switchable and make sure you call the switch to method. Now it's a method so I don't have to write this code over and over again. Okay, I just say, is it in the hash map? No, then go ahead and add it. Then once I've added it, controller should not be null. 
And as long as the scene is not null, go ahead and set the root. Okay, go ahead and set the root. So now this code is written in a nice function call. It's static, so it's only in one memory location. I have a static scene, so there's only one scene, and I'm changing the root. Okay, so I'm changing the root node. So I have the same scene, and I'm changing the root every time I switch. So let's see this work. If I run it again, I'm in A, I can go to B, I can go back to A, I can go C, I can go back to A, I can go to C, then I can go to B, and I can go back to A, so they all work. I can go A to B, I can go A to C, and I can go B to C. I can go A, B, and C. B back to A, so they all work. Now, what if I want to pass data? What if I want to add another scene to this program? Maybe three scenes aren't enough. Maybe I need more. Maybe I need 10 scenes. I'll at least show you how to add one, and then you can follow that procedure for however many scenes you have. Stick with Professor Wergelis, and we'll see you in the next video.